Jovi Marcello was the 40th driver to lose their life at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. His death came on the last day of practice before Carb Day and 10 years to the day of Gordon Smiley's fatal accident, the last death at the Speedway up to that point. Jovi could have been the first driver from the Philippines to qualify for the race in the 76 year history of the event, but he was tragically killed in an accident during the toughest month of May in recent memory. But there's more to a racer than just being a statistic. There's more to this man. And in this episode of All IndyCar, we remember the life and legacy of Jovi Marcello. On April 20th, 1965, Jovi Marcello was born in the, at the time, capital city of the Philippines, Quenzin City. His father raced dragsters, motorcycles, and speedboats in Malaysia and the Philippines, as well as racing in the Macau Grand Prix, where results are unavailable. The family would soon move to the U.S., specifically San Francisco. Jovi would later begin his own career in carts at the age of 11. Jovi would put his education first, however, studying at St. Mary's Catholic College of California, where he graduated with a business degree. After this, he competed in the United Kingdom, although his sin is undocumented and I am unable to find what series he raced in. Presumably British Formula Fords or F4, but this is unclear. In a similar vein, Jovi's time in New Zealand is unknown, but we do know that he returned to race in the Toyota Atlantic series. He would only start two races in 1990, but nevertheless grabbed a pole this season. He impressed in his first year, but more than anything, he impressed Bill Flicking, the owner of P1 Racing, who were in need of a driver, replacing the champion, Mark Dismore. They selected Jovi for the drive, and with two wins, he brought home a championship in the Toyota Atlantic series. In doing so, he beat future kart champion and 10-time IndyCar winner, Jimmy Vassar, who was one of Jovi's main championship rivals and only lost to Jovi by four points. Jovi would graduate to the Kart PPG series in 1992, completing a test with Walker Motorsports and signing it with Euro Motorsports to race the 1992 season. His first start would come at Surfer's Paradise, the closest thing Jovi would ever have to a true home race. Jovi would qualify 19th in his Lola and finish 14th. The kart series would then move to Phoenix Raceway for the Valvoline 200, the first of six ovals in this season and the only oval before the Indy 500. Jovi qualified 20th but retired on lap 62 due to handling issues. The next race was one of the most important, the Grand Prix of Long Beach, and although no one knew it at the time, it would be Marcello's last. Marcello would qualify 22nd, but retire once again with a transmission failure. The next race was Indy. On May 15th, 1992, at 4.07 p.m., Jovi Marcello hit the wall in turn one. He died instantly of a bastler skull fracture. His death followed many awful accidents in the 1992 month of May, one of which caused severe leg injuries to former world champion Nelson Piquet. Jovi Marcello was the quickest non-qualified driver for the week up until his accident. He left behind his wife Irene and two sons. Would Jovi Marcello have ever become a racing superstar? Honestly, it's hard to say. He had only one season in Atlantics and three races in kart. If there's anyone that has any form of information about Jovi's career in the UK, New Zealand, please put it out there because we'd be able to figure this stuff out a lot easier. But not every driver has to be a superstar to be successful. The man had a lovely family and got to drive race cars for a living. That's a pretty good sign of success if you ask me. Jovi was a solid driver, it's just a shame we never got a chance to see it to its full capacity. His legacy lived on with the invention of the Hans device and the Jovi Marcello Sportsmanship Award, which was last given in 2008. Jovi Marcello was a great driver, but more than that, he was a role model to racers all over the world, and probably an amazing person too.